Hi, Regina here, and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. As many of our viewers know, our last five videos have been dedicated to clinical trials involving dental pulp stem cells, also known as DPSCs. Well, today we want to share with you a sixth clinical trial utilizing DPSCs, this time to treat chronic periodontitis. Chronic periodontitis is a disease of the gums characterized by persistent inflammation of the tissue that results from the buildup of dental plaque. It is one of the leading causes of tooth loss due to damage to the jawbone. People suffering from periodontal disease are also two to three times more at risk of developing cardiovascular diseases due to the increased inflammation within the body. Specifically, the long-term inflammation associated with chronic periodontitis plays a major role in atherosclerosis, which is the buildup of fats and cholesterol on artery walls. Looking to take advantage of the regenerative capabilities and anti-inflammatory properties of DPSCs, researchers at Peking University Third Hospital in China are preparing to conduct a phase one clinical trial assessing the safety and efficacy of DPSCs for the treatment of chronic periodontitis. The trial will involve 36 participants afflicted with chronic periodontitis. All participants will receive initial periodontal therapy, consisting of cleaning and scaling and root planning. The participants will then be assigned to one of five groups, with each group receiving a different dosage of the DPSC injection or the placebo. Improvements in heart rate, blood pressure, red and white blood cell count, probing depth, probing bleeding index, and gingival recession will be monitored in all groups to identify which dose of DPSCs is the safest and most effective. This trial represents the leading edge of potential DPSC therapies as research migrates from the lab to clinical trials. We will continue to update you on the status of this trial and others involving dental pulp stem cells. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.